Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, I'm at one of my pastures today. This is the pasture that you saw in the previous video, a couple videos back, where I was giving the heifer some salt and they were all lined up by the fence. Well, this is the north end of this pasture and it's underwater. It wasn't this much water two days ago when I was here. It was high, it was getting up to the fence, po the gate post there, which I knew there was a dam over there. And what happens, the beavers dam it up and then it comes, it comes back around that way and then in this way and goes this way. This is, that's a dugout right there where we have the cows for watering. Uh, but it's getting a little bit uh, too much water. Uh, we just had that big rain yesterday, Friday night, it's all day Saturday, which was yesterday. Um, we ended up getting three inches of rain and it's supposed to start again. Like it's cleared out today, but they said there's still heavy rainfall warnings in the forecast. Um, hopefully we'll get spared. Maybe it's supposed to be more north and we can see the clouds. Or I don't know if they're going away, staying there, or building. But I hope they stay away. Because it's a nice day. But I walked in the hay field there and it's kind of soft. So... Yeah, I'm going to uh, try and attempt to break that beaver dam up. Uh, I'm going to try and drive through here with the with the commander, and uh, probably try and go this way and up on that hill. It shouldn't it's not that deep there. Commander can go through that no problem. But I can hear that water just flowing over there, so it's probably trying to go over top that beaver dam. But the only good thing about this is I don't have to pump water here. Last was it last year? I think I pumped water here last year. Yeah, last year and the year before. Uh, that this hole I have here needs to be. I need to bring the excavator here and uh, redig it because Dad dug this with the D6. It was only like four and a half feet, five feet deep, and then it got all sloughed in again. So, but uh, yeah, I don't think we'll have to do that this year. That filled it right back up. So. There's a there's another boro pit over there or dugout. Boro pits are what they use to build the highways with. So on almost everybody's quarter has a boro pit, and they're they're pretty deep. They're about 50, 60 feet deep. So it's always good to have an abundance of water around. Anyway, I'm gonna open the gate and try and make my way through there. Well, that wasn't too bad. Went up to the almost to the top of the tires. It can this sucker can go through more yet. And if it was snorkeled and everything, wow! You see, uh, on one YouTube channel, those guys in Saskatchewan, they go through some crazy stuff. Anyway, this here is where the the actual drainage ditch is. And it comes across and goes that way. And I can see there's nothing in there right now. So I'm going to attempt to cross here somewhere. I should go over there. Oh. 
And with the rain we just got, that's why it's flowing pretty good now. And this is our neighbor's property. And this is where it, uh, they dam it up all the time. They use a fence to do it. So I'm just, that's, yeah, that's where it comes from. But what happens is it backs up back that way. Goes around into my auntie's place and then into ours there. So, I'm going to dig this out a little bit, let the water go down. I forgot my spade. All right, right on for my brother's hip waders. Man, these things should come in handy. I was coming here with just rubber boots. And I thought I could probably do better with these. So, I got her flowing pretty good now. I'll probably dig that out a little bit more. I got some of those big sticks out of there. The water's coming pretty good now. So the water's gonna come back around and back out this way. That's what it does. That's it'll it'll come back because it's uphill that way. So that's that's actually a good thing because this would be totally flooded out if it wasn't. I could probably dig some of this out, but yeah, this should be good. Oh, I don't know when the beavers will be back. But if it doesn't rain anymore, I don't actually mind them blocking it back off after because it keeps the water in our dugout high. But for now, it has to go. I should have brought my off and mosquitoes are getting me out here. Yes, they use the fence to help build the dam and it makes it easy for them. That's not bad, it'll drain. I'm just going to dig this out a little bit more. Oh yeah, I think that's about enough for now. I got her going pretty good. I'll have to come back after when it goes down and maybe dig it out some more. Once the level goes down. But I think it's going down already. But there's a lot of water coming back in from this heavy rain we had. I know the ditch by my house is actually flowing pretty good right now. So, I'm gonna attempt to go back. Yeah, that worked good. Okay, is this the spot I crossed at? I can't remember now. Well, let's do it. through pretty good. I don't think that's where I crossed that last time, but whatever. Yeah, I think this water is going to be going down. I'll come back here and check it at the end of the day. See what's happening. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll probably come back later on today and uh, do another little video here, see if the water went down, but I'll just add it to this video. All right, thanks for watching. Well, here I am the next day, and I'm back at the beaver dam, and the water's gone down quite a bit. Uh, when I opened the gate, uh, the water was not even by the gate anymore. There's still water, but that'll take time to go back. But uh, this was all underwater yesterday, and it's pretty much gone down, so I'm just going to dig this out a little bit more. I forgot my shovel, so I'm going to have to do it by hand. 
Today's the day I really need a shovel. Anyway. Well, as you can see, the water has went down from the last video. Well, from the last time I was here, which was yesterday. The water was actually making its way up there, so... The water has receded quite a bit. I dug out the dam a little bit more. I had to come back to the gate because the cows were trying to make their way this way and I didn't close the gate, but I knew they didn't really want to go in this water. They don't really like to walk through swampy water if they don't have to. But yeah, well, that uh, the water will go down. And if it doesn't rain anymore and the beavers don't come back, I know the beavers have their beaver huts and everything way way down there so they make their way up this way sometimes anyway thanks for watching talk to you all soon